travel around the world, you always come back with a bit of inspiration, especially if you are a designer. I'm sure, Sabrina, your eyes were wide open. Oh, your yes. five weeks in Thailand. And so you took a lot of photos there that we're going to show some of the inspiration Thanks. that you're seeing um, yes. in Thai decor. Um, starting with some of the more traditional. Yeah, very right? traditional. I mean, I feel like people these days love minimal, and I feel yeah. like they are the masters of it. And okay. it's not even because they think it looks cool. Everything is just more simple. They're more mindful. Once again, lots of natural materials, rattan, wicker, seagrass, yeah. all of those beautiful things. And then we might look at something like bean bags and low tables and think, oh, how cool, how modern, how, how whatever. But for them, it actually serves a function. Okay. So it's not just that it looks cool and it's super comfortable that yeah. to lounge in, but it's all about like airflow and circulation. Uh -huh. Because hot air rises, right? Mm -hmm. So you'll never find like bar tops. You'll never find any furniture that's really high up. You yes. always want to be low to the ground, close to the ceramic or the concrete tile. Um, and it's all just very easy going. I feel like here you walk into a restaurant, even if it's high end, and you're kind of like, how am I walking? How do I look? Right. There, there's yeah. no concern. You're just who you are. You kind of just show up and arrive, and you can just lounge and enjoy yourself. God, that has to be a good feeling. I know. So let's bring it back here. Yes. Right? Let's bring it everywhere. Everyone should feel really comfortable in their environment, but I like the fact that things look beautiful and they're all very functional too. Yes, so very. you've created a space here um, based on those principles. Let's start with the wall and work our way down. Yeah, so once again, those natural materials, you'll find concrete everywhere, um, yeah. any kind of mural, anywhere there's blank concrete, if there's not a carved wood feature, like this beautiful piece from Pier 1, someone has painted something beautiful on it and they leave it. They're not mad about it. They're not going out there and spraying it off with a hose. Right. They kind of embrace it and then just make it part of it. So one of the biggest things that I learned about Thailand while I was there is that teak is one of their biggest exports. Okay. So teak trees galore everywhere. Really? I couldn't find teak for this, but you'll find tons of carved wood. Um, and another export is orchids. Oh, so I went to lovely. an orchid farm when I was there, and it was absolutely stunning. Nice. So these are fake ones, but I think they're pretty convincing. Yeah, they from are. From Wayfair. They're not bad. Not Those are the shabby. kinds that I would have. <laughs> you like nice So they can be alive lights. for a yeah. long time. <laughs> I know. They'll keep them alive for like 10 years. I'm like, I didn't know it was a perennial. I thought once it kind of died off, it was gone. <laughs> Yeah, no, come back. you can make them come back again and again Apparently. and again if you got those skills. Exactly. Um, this is still really nice to this table. I know it's not teak, but there's a real nod to rustic and exactly. to natural elements, which yeah. is lovely. They'd like to keep things simple. Once again, yeah. it's all about working with what you have. It's about sustainability, not making any more work or fuss for yourself in your lifestyle, in your furniture, in your food. It's very just pure. Yes. So once again, I think this is great because it's so low. Yeah. Um, a lot of coffee tables these days are high, and you'll find that you'll go to a restaurant and this is just the setup this is your dining area okay so what I love about this is you could have this as an outdoor space mm -hmm. um, these bean bags are absolutely awesome indoor outdoor fabric oh. once again from Wayfair I think I ordered them and they came within like two days Amazing. so super quick if you need a bean bag fix yes you got to get your itch <laughs> outdoor scratched. fabric though yes. that is inspired because I think even if it's indoors if you're in a space that's a, like you know high traffic maybe you've got pets totally it's super nice durable to be not precious about absolutely it. you can kind of just like whisk it off yeah. and then same with these rugs this one's actually washable you can throw it directly oh. into your washing machine amazing um, and then this once again just natural materials things like jute that are not precious like you yes. said you don't have to worry about getting things messy um, you want to be able to keep the window open or if this was an outdoor space not having to worry that things are getting ruined yes it's all about just embracing embrace your life embrace the mess embrace, embrace the dirt. and what's interesting is that as you say when the decor is a little bit laid back then that really reflects on the personality the personality totally. traits of the people within the country. So it would be nice to spread a little bit of that laid backness around. Yeah, yes, absolutely. I agree. Now we're also looking at where design is going forward um, in Thailand, yes. and you have we have a picture of that. And so it, you can see sort of the subtle differences of big shifts. A shift on oh, how yeah. it's evolving, right? So with big color there, very colorful. The floor work is gorgeous. Yeah, the tile. I feel like before it was just you would leave the concrete as is. Now they're yeah. staining it, painting it. It's all about like color and pattern play. So that was actually in Chiang Mai, yeah. right downtown. So this is still the island vibe. Yeah. And it's slowly getting there, but in the cities like Bangkok and Chiang Mai, you're starting to see colorful tile and pattern and embracing all of like, I don't know, just a little bit more of modern elements. I feel like they're stepping their game up. Right. Well, yeah. you know what? It's globalization as well. We're all seeing what's happening everywhere in the world, and we're all being Instagram, affected by that. Instagram, the internet, you can't help it. So totally. let's just bring it all together and make a space that works for you. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you.